Okay, so in this demo, what we're going to look at are some simple changes that you can make to the symbology for your layers in ArcGIS Pro. So what I have here is a, is a project that I've opened up in ArcGIS Pro. You can see the name of the project. I've added a couple of layers here, including floodplains and parcels. Uh, I've opened up the symbology for parcels, and you can see it's not necessarily a, a color scheme that you might want to use to to depict your parcels, right? And so one of the things you can do is you can make very simple color changes uh, to your layers through what's called the color palette. And the color palette can be accessed by right clicking on the symbol that you want to change. So if I go to parcels, find the actual symbol that um, is associated with the layer. If I right click on that symbol, that displays the, what's called the color palette. Right? And with the color palette, you, all you're doing here is you're just selecting a new color that you want to apply to that layer. And right now, all I have is a what's called a, uh, a simple render that's been applied to, to my feature. So every single feature has the same symbol that's been applied to. All right, so if I go in here and I change it to, for example, yucca yellow. All right, click on that. What it does is it immediately changes all of the features in that layer to the new color that I selected. Uh, there's other things you can do from the color palette as well. Uh, if you right click and go to no color, what it will do is it will remove the fill color for that layer. So that what I have, I still have the outline, but I no longer have a color, right? I have no fill color associated with it. And this can be very uh, advantageous at, at certain times when you want to be able to simply display the outlines of a polygon, but not the, uh, the fill uh, that's associated with it. And so that's the color palette. Uh, now, you can also access what's called the symbol gallery by left clicking. Right? Remember, we right clicked to display the color palette, but we left click to display what's called the symbol gallery. Right? And the symbol gallery is part of what we call the symbology pane. And uh, you know, when it initially shows up, there, there's actually two tabs on the symbology pane. We have the gallery tab and the properties uh, tab. The gallery tab um, basically gives you a list of symbols that you can pick from. So these are pre-selected, predefined symbology, and they're all given a name. So you can see names that are associated with these symbols, which makes them searchable, right? If I go in here and I search uh, for land, I can find some predefined symbols that are associated with the word land. So these are predefined symbols that have been given a name, and all you have to do is come in here and select a layer that you want to, to use, and what it will do is, is change your symbology to, uh, to that uh, symbol that you selected. So if I come in here and I select green pastel, it'll automatically update uh, my symbol color to green pastel. So all you're doing is just finding uh, an associated symbol. Some work pretty well, others don't, just kind of depending on what you're doing, what you're wanting to display here. Some have outlines, some don't, right? So government, for example, doesn't have an outline color, whereas green did have an outline color. So that's important to know, right? If I just select government, government doesn't have an outline color, now I can no longer see the boundaries of my parcel. So uh, you know, th these things are important. You wanna make sure you pick a symbol, predefined symbol on that gallery that properly depicts your data. Right, so that's the symbol gallery. Uh, now the the items that are available to you in the symbol gallery um, are there because of something we call styles. Right? If I come to the catalog pane and I open up the style section for catalog, what you see are you, is a set of styles. Right? ArcGIS 2D, ArcGIS colors, color brewer schemes. These are styles that are associated with the current project that you're working with. And every project in ArcGIS Pro, when you create that project, it's automatically going to load these predefined styles. And so those predefined symbol symbols that we saw in the symbol gallery, that's where they're coming from. They're coming specifically from this ArcGIS 2D style that was automatically loaded into our project. Um, now, there are other styles available. Uh, if you right click on styles and go to add, add system style, you'll see that you have other additional styles that you can add, right? Primitives, push points, reports, a uh, lot of different symbology for 3D layers if you're dealing with 3D layers. Uh, but you can add some additional um, symbols to your projects. So in this case, if I select uh, icon, push pins, right, you notice that they've been added to the system styles in the project. And if I hit OK, then it automatically updates that. Right? And these happen to be styles that are associated uh, with point layers, so they're not really going to help us here because we're dealing with a polygon layer. Uh, but do keep in mind you have access to other um, styles, predefined styles, uh, through that add system styles. And we'll go back to symbology. So that affects what gets displayed here 
uh, in your, uh, the uh, symbol gallery. As I said, it is searchable, so you can search for uh, specific names that have been uh, defined for symbols. Now, if we go to Properties, uh, the Properties tab allows us to make some additional changes to those symbols. All right, so, and down here at the bottom, what you're seeing is just uh, sort of a, a preview of what that style is going to look like. So, what we can define here are different things. Right? The color we've already defined, but if you want to change your color, right, that'll bring up the color palette again. You might want to change the outline color, right? So if you want to change the outline color to something else, you could do that. You can also change the outline width. So you might make it a little bit larger. All right, and then when you apply this, it'll automatically make those changes. All right. Now there are multiple buttons on this properties tab. Most of the time you're going to be using the basic properties that fall into this symbol button. But there are some other things you can do here uh, in terms of layering your data um, and also to the structure of the data. Now, these are a little bit more advanced topics that we're not going to cover in this particular demo. But there are some more advanced things you can do uh, as far as uh, defining what a symbol is going to look like. So there are a lot of different properties that you can define in ArcGIS Pro to control uh, various aspects of symbology. All right. So, hope you've enjoyed this demo. Again, all we've covered here are, uh, is, uh, is the color palette. Remember, you access the color palette by right-clicking and selecting a color. Symbol gallery, left click, that brings up the symbol gallery. By default, it will bring up the gallery.